This is a little payback from all the heterosexual men of the world. Check it out. Niggas fucking niggas, but they act like they like hoes. You see, I wrote this song so they can be exposed. Niggas fucking niggas, but they act like they like hoes. The boo boo with blood. Out the wreck, the mid will flow. Ouch! I know you ashamed of your life. You wearing a beard called your wife. You're poking holes in another man's mud. Your sheet got spots on it from your homeboy's butt. Niggas, but they act like they like hoes. So I wrote this song so they can be exposed. Niggas, fucking niggas, but they act like they like hoes. The boo boo wig blood out the wreck, the mid will flow. Gotta list when you talk, don't think that I can't tell. The noise in your room is the sound when a man yells. Every time you talk, your fingers are in the air. Your LGBT brothers want to know that you care. Niggas fucking niggas, but they act like they like hoes. So I wrote this song so they can be Fucking niggas, but they act like they like hoes. The boo boo is blood. Out the wreck, the mid will flow. A man can be the girl of his dreams. The agenda is for you to be seen. Hotels in the rooms that you rent. Have the smell of a pimple with the dookie stitch. Yes, it does. Niggas fucking niggas, but they act like they like hoes. So I wrote this song so they can be exposed. Niggas fucking niggas, but they act like they like hoes. The boo boo with blood out the wreck. But they act like they like hoes It's hard to be a movie star Without a dick in your ass The cast the couch is part of your past I know I may be blackballed after this But somebody gotta say it Real niggas in the streets And this is how real niggas gonna play it You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> I got some friends who gonna be calling me about this song, you know what I'm saying? But they calling me for a reason. I fuck with you, man, but you a dick in the booty ass nigga. <laughs> Stop.
stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titty done. Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch. Yeah, you ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 51, 50, 20, 22 It's on I'm about to say some real things Rip the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this <laughs> yes! 51 motherfucking 50 in the motherfucking house, the most watched show in the nation that nobody gives credit to. We in the motherfucking house. I am Corey motherfucking Hoku. Darlene OG Ortiz and the uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Wet pit mark is in the house. I know you're uncomfortable, nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah, nigga. Oh my Why did you just call this nigga? Yeah, oh let's God. talk this shit. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I was just like, I said, I'll. Don't. You know, D. Goddamn. I put that on everything. <laughs> I have Somebody no say Mark is gonna fight Corey tonight. He might. I have no idea. Just, oh God. I have. That's what you do, oh, I God. have done my best to try and nurture the relationship between me, Marcus, and the moist, non-handsome turtle. The moist, nine handsome turtle. What does moist mean? Damn, wet. Yeah. Nine handsome speaks for itself. Turtle. We all know who looked like a turtle. <laughs> Tippy turtle looking ass motherfucker. Aries? Not just Aries. Aries is the gooey raccoon because oh. his eyes all fucked up under there and shit. Oh. Gooey soft. I call him gooey because when I helped him off the flow, mm. remember when Zoe uh, elbowed him and shit? Mm -hmm. He was when real I ran soft. Over there. Yeah, he was mm. real soft. Mushy. That no, you was up. fucking analyzing. I made the it shit. over there. I ran over there. He was there like, at the ooh, end. Oh, I was like, oh, oh, no, I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, oh, 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 oh. Sound like that nigga every, don't sing it. Every, <laughs> every, Who every song that? <laughs> you remember that nigga that sing it? You always make fun of that gospel singer. And he was, oh, yeah. and he was doing that. I forgot his name. Rest, rest, yeah. rest yeah. in peace. Oh, Good brother. What? 
<laughs> Dang it. I can't think of his name. Oh my God. Anyway. Um, okay, so explain, I guess. No, there's just like, like listen, everybody who's 50, 150, familiar, yeah. knows one day I, see, I always talk about why I messed up. Mm. Even though it ain't really messing up. But I always talk about what I know happened to make people do what they do. One day we found out that the non-handsome moist turtle had a roommate that was a man. And it just was no coincidence to me that he had a man roommate, considering oh, everything I, that. Yeah. I know. And I can tell from that day, things changed. Things changed. Um, the, <clears throat> the little non-handsome moist turtle was, um, was not happy about me talking about or joking about the lifestyle that he is not a, he's not proud of. Really? That but was a long time ago. I that? have put together mm. some things that I really want um, people to see because I'm not just calling this man moist. I have evidence to back up moisture. I mean, I think I think it's unfair when men. What does the LGBT stand for? Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, transsexual, queer. Is that what it stands for? Mm -hmm. It stands for queer. Community. It's queer. That's what the Q is for. The Q is a, the Q is, is, a Q is Q queer. Yeah. yeah. And the I. Is, so this is what I'm saying. Isn't it? Oh, I no. think it is unfair when people. Spend quality time with the LBGTQ community and don't hold it up. Okay, the wait. people from the LGBTQ community who spend quality time cracking their ass open for you do not need to be played off for your own personal shame. If you fuck with niggas, you fuck with niggas. Stop hiding it. It is my job to speak up for the people in the LGBTQ community because people treat them unfair. And one of the main people that treat that community unfair are the people who sneak, get fucked, and act like they not with it. That's what happens to me in Los Angeles the oh, most. Man. Men who are not proud of their desires in the ass thrashing community are worried about me. This is why I don't advance. This is why I have to create my own Hollywood because there are too many men who are ashamed of how they get down, and they act like Corey Holcomb, the bad guy. It's people out here who put posts on their little turtle social media and try to take the post down. Like we ain't got screenshots of the shit. It's too late, you put it up there. Everything you put on the web can be captured and brought back in your face, little turtle boy. You tried to take them posts down. You gonna be surprised yet proud of some of the posts that I got that you tried to hide from the world to justify what you said against me. He act like I'm depressed. Boy, we got posts with you admitting you are going through depression Little turtle, twinkle toe, little twinkle turtle. I think twinkle turtle is better than most turtle. Moist turtle. Don't laugh, Marcus. You'll get in trouble. You have to be strong during this podcast. Wait, let me get Marcus, you must be strong or you will be ousted. So is this just basically a call out or a battle to prove that 
someone something to... I, mean, I have been victimized yet again. Uh, I have been told I'm the bad guy. I have been told I'm the bad guy. Marcus, Marcus is not finna get away with all the shit he's done either. Because Marcus, you are part of this. He never asked me, can he come on the show? How he get on the show, Marcus? I got he, him on here. He come through you. Ask Corey. Ask Corey. Ask Corey. You think I ain't noticed that he never really asked me? He don't never call me. He always send you. He uses bargaining chips over you to get to me. And now I'm on the motherfucking internet as a motherfucker who can only do comedy one way and all this sucker shit that we about to address. God damn it. I got to put you on the spot, little bro. I don't care if you get mad. Like he said, everybody get away from me. Your boy ain't gone. <laughs> we gonna see if he gonna leave today. Cause the truth shall be spoken and it should be spoken. Marcus think you gonna kill yourself. Marcus think you gonna kill yourself. That's why I never went this hard. Marcus was like, Corey, cool out, man. He gonna kill himself. <laughs> I'm saying this because I was victimized. Oh, how in the world? D, have you seen what happened? No, yes. but that when you- I was victimized. I was told I only do comedy one way. I run everybody away that's around me. He even name dropped. He said Zoe and Grady. To name drop. Boy, do you know how many motherfuckers I done got off your ass, boy? I'm telling you people who you never even thought was ready to motherfucking beat your ass. And I didn't even know what was wrong at first. I was like, damn, them motherfuckers ain't playing. It's a lot of motherfuckers be ready to beat your ass and they know you a coward, little twinkle toe turtle. But if somebody constantly making posts about depression, then that's signs of, and then they make a post that says something about suicide, then that was, ain't really nothing for You me said to, it, you said nothing, it. That ain't nothing. The man that made posts about that. depression and suicide, but something wrong with me. Yeah, but if he said it in the terms that I'm thinking of. He said he was worried about the boy. Right, but that's that's a that's a that's a real concern. Why would you mock What do you that? mean it's a concern? Why would if you a motherfucker going to kill themselves, stop teasing us. Oh my god. Okay, this guy Stop right. teasing people. Be a G and motherfucking do it expeditiously. Ain't that what just I mean that, who said that? I, I can't with this one. This is Morgan oh, Freeman said Clark, that. Man. What's that movie? Clark. It kills your brain cells, son. Dick in the ass kills your brain cells. Stop <laughs> playing with it and jump off the roof expeditiously. What's fucked up is I, <laughs> I just did that scene uh, uh, for my main scene two weeks ago. Oh, yeah? Boy. <sighs> boy. Let me tell you something. Boy, I ain't even begin oh, no. to start this funeral procession. Can I switch this energy drink for something else? Please? We shall know after today. I wish I'd have thought I'd have made a gospel song saying we shall know. Oh, that's not right. We shall know. You can't go on the homie show. First of all, big shots out to Sway. I love you, brother. You always help me and support me. Even though we don't hang in day, Sway, that's a 100 motherfucker. I remember when Kanye was on Sway's show acting crazy. This is when I knew Sway was a real nigga. Sway, Sway was so calm. Kanye was getting loud. He was like, hey, you know, if you want to go in the back, we can do that right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was laughing. That's when you find out who a motherfucker is under pressure. Sway wasn't loud or nothing. He was like, yeah, yeah, if you want, you know, we can do all that. That's what I'm saying. Sway, I love you, brother. I love you and your, you and your crew. I love y'all. I'm just talking about the little boy got baited into saying something by a caller. He finally let out what was on his heart. I've been, I've been babysitting this little fruit booty relationship for too long. I ain't got no, I, I mean like shit, I ain't got, that's right, Sway held it down. Sway a G, man, Sway ain't no motherfucker. Sway do this shit every week. He has to be a diplomat. 
to yeah. everybody who comes in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, it is what it is, man. Let's get into this shit about what this little fruit booty said, God damn it. I mean, I mean, he lived with a man. Uh, he admitted he'd been to gay clubs at least a thousand times. I mean, this is what he said out his mouth. This ain't me making this up. He said, I used to go to gay clubs three times a week for six years. Add that up. This is what the man said about himself. This is what the man said about himself. Why did you call this nigga? You admired your brother and how he pushed shit with swag. How he pushed shit in with swag. The man was on one of his posts talking about my brother fuck niggas and bitches. And I just admire him. Because your brother ain't scared to admit who he is. And I got to say this now. I don't give a fuck. This man was on the show. And I heard some little sweet voice in the back. And I was like, what is that sweet voice in the back? He said, Corey, he pushed people away from him. Zoe and, and, and Grady, they got away from him, all that stuff and shit. I've had my best friend since I was four. Then his best friend said something. His best friend was like, that's right. <laughs> hey, you selfish. That ain't just your best friend. That's you and your brother's best friend. Y'all been fucking since y'all was four. You can't fool me, boy. I got eyes like an eagle. Smart as I think I am. Wait till this show over with, boy, because I'm just coming with the jokes now. We about to come with the facts. We got special guests who got facts. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Facts. 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 Factuses. We got factuses for your ass coming up, boy. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. I found out why you rolled your eyes at the comedy store and got you ran out of town. But I was getting he say, she say. I didn't get all the information I feel like I should have been told about what happened that night when somebody scared you out of L.A. I didn't get all the information, but then when I got some more information about what happened, I was like, that all makes sense. None of y'all told me what was happening that night, man. Up there with the little twinkle toe turtle. Ha, <laughs> I know this awkward for you, boy, but God damn it. That motherfucker, he better call me about it. You can't tell me nothing about that motherfucker no more. Uh, that man said, I have to be, wait a minute, I have to be right or I get mad at people. Then he dropped Grady as though. One person saying something about another nigga, that's the nigga with a problem. You talk about me all day through Marcus. Marcus tell me anything you say. Because you be trying to get Marcus to referee like he had the referee that night when the homie was ready to slap you for rolling his eyes at him. Why you send Marcus to tell me your issues with me? Why you don't never call me Twinkle Turtle? Twinkle Toe Turtle? This how your sounds, when you walk, as heavy as you are, this how it sounds. I told you to call this nigga. Yeah, Twinkle Toe. You say you told him to call me? I told you to call this nigga, bro. It wouldn't go get no better if you just didn't call this nigga and just tell him. Uh, that's hey. all this nigga asked you. Hey, 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 Twinkle Toe Turtle, listen. When you was on stage this week, you know them hackers, they be sneaking and recording sets of comedians. This week when you was at Caroline's, I saw you started one of your sets by saying, I'm not gay. Let me tell you something, man. Motherfuckers who are ashamed to be gay always <laughs> saying they not gay. Y'all remember when Boy George finally came out? He was like, guess what, y'all? I got something to say. It's the same thing that, with you. That was obvious, though. <laughs> you don't on. think this obvious? No. Why you don't think? Why would, why would you? Did you? You didn't see the interview. I didn't see any of that, but I'm just going off of me knowing what I know about him. And I like the guy. I like Ryan. He's, Hold up, Marcus. He's is trying hilarious. his best love, not like to burn Ryan. this bridge. But the bridge going to burn, boy. I don't even, it ain't even about that, man. I don't even. The point, bridge going to burn, boy. We saw who he had on the road with him during the interview. That 
was the worst thing that happened during the interview. That was confirmation to this every same, real nigga. This was on the same Sway show. This was, on the, this, was, this was when he did that interview with Sway. He had the wrong nigga say something and confirm why Marcus is not wanted on the road all the time. Marcus, I know you are not finna do this, but if you want to keep being on the road, you got to suck something, fuck something. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, what the? Get this I'm just trying to tell you, dog. If you ain't seen it yet, don't you see him and T, the, the boy he was with, they want to go and sip. Do your hair like this, D. Oh, boy. my God. They want to sip Jesus, drinks Corey? like this and shit, you know. They want. What? You in the way, nigga. You don't see that? If you ain't finna suck nothing, fuck nothing, you can't be with him every week. Says you. That's so silly. I'm you guys. telling you, the man, the man that shook Marcus to be with the type of motherfuckers that suck something, fuck something. I ain't drop names yet because I ain't got to. I got testimony. Marcus ain't going to tell you when he was in Ontario. He shook you. He shook you, Marcus. Do you want to tell who he was out there with? We done talked about him on the show before. I ain't mad at the brother either. But you was in the way. Up. He opened up for him. He, they opened up and they went on stage too. Don't, don't say opened up again. <laughs> they open up all the time for each other. Oh, God, stop. I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just trying to tell you. Look, bro, you in the way. You eventually, in Hollywood, this is how this shit work out here. You got niggas who never really get what they should get talently because they don't fit in to a certain thing. The twinkle toe turtle, it ain't no way you supposed to be rich. I don't know nothing about the fruit booty shit, but your ass must not be shit. They don't want your ass out here? I know you're giving it up. Boy, right, look, let me tell you something. If you out here fucking men, me and fucking me, you ain't got no excuse for not making it. Unless your ass ain't shit. I don't know nothing about man ass, but I got a mind I can assume. I'm like, oh, his man ass must not be shit. Or it's full of shit. I, can't. I don't understand. Do you be getting up ass with a shitty ass? Is that what it is? What happened? Why they don't cuff you and put you in a slot where you will be safe from the goons that be out here? All the motherfucking... Fruit booties that made it out here, they don't even be around the little knuckleheads to be out here like us. We the knucklehead. Boy, it's time for you to stop motherfucking putting the LGBTQ community in the back door and let them be your bodyguard. How much work can he do? He just a little nigga Fuck with a little man. strength. He can't hear like nobody. They gonna slip right under with them musty ass armpits. <laughs> Stop torturing this boy and making him think he got a chance to be close to you. Tell him, Marcus, I be fucking niggas. I can't have you around for that shit. I know it hurt. I know. I know. God. I know, man. This, what this the fuck weird. can you do, this man? Is this is crazy. He said he wished I would do comedy another way. <laughs> <laughs> How I'm supposed to do comedy like that boy you had with your sway show? He was like, yeah, because he did this too. Don't tell me this is the guy I saw here when he performed in the Valley. Did it, it was that the same guy? No, 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 no. Oh, Marcus that, know who he is. Oh, that guy is hilarious. Yeah, they, I love they make that Marcus guy. walk a two-stepper behind. Whoever that guy was, so I don't know who this other guy is in. No, that's, that's the one that uh, oh, they, they, uh, was roommate with Ryan. They're both good. That was a great show, by the way. They roommates? Oh, that was the roommate? D, you saw Austin. the roommate? Oh, no, that no, was that's, that's Austin was. Oh, he's Austin. Oh, Austin he's married. Hilarious. He got a wife. Yeah, he, I saw them there. Oh, dude. he's funny as Austin. hell. Austin married, man. He got a wife. Though. Austin, you're funny yeah. as hell. Austin funny as hell. They were both good. Yeah. It was a good show. So let me get this right. A man had a wife live with a nigga? Well, he, he got, he, he. Are uh, you finna make an excuse for this? No, he married a, he married a <sighs> towards the end of it. Like he, he. So maybe that's what happened. Wife. Maybe him and Ryan had a talk. Look, man, this was fun while it lasted. But 
Me and my woman, I choose pussy Don't over this, to you know, this, over this trick, turtle right? dick you putting up in me. He, is that what happened? We don't know what happened. We know they were living together. Soon as Mark Ryan left, he got married. Am I wrong? He <laughs> <laughs> was right there. Ah! <laughs> right the plot thickened. Marcus is not trying to tell on you, Ryan. He just trying to mump. But he actually trying to still be your friend so he can keep opening up on stage. No, I don't need, I mean, I, need, I don't even think he's going to call me anyway. I don't think he's going to call me out there. I really no, don't. No, he made sure to say on Sway Show, he's opening from Belcher Cove. Oh. And his little turtle shell. I think it's the hair. <clears throat> the hair? Your hair is something that's squeezing the life of you. It's squeezing your brain. He be quiet. Go ahead. No. On. That's why you can't see. Somebody squeezing your 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 eye your eye sockets. I can see with my glasses at least. Anyway, look. All I want to say is this, man. I ain't never did nothing but tried to be cool and facilitate <laughs> your little relationship with dude. So this ain't beef to me either. This is somebody who got a problem, like he said. <laughs> and the problem is you won't admit that you like bussy. How they call it? Boy pussy? Boy pussy? Why are you doing that, man? You know that man looked up to you, man. What? I look He's up to him. Well, silly. I don't He's look up to him. Uh, he, he, on the show, he said he had you as one of his uh, Mount Rushmore, you was on Mount Rushmore. you up what he said good. Huh? What else did he say? he didn't have to say anything like huh? that. He didn't right. have to he say that, and they put you on his Mount Rushmore, man. Motherfucker, I am motherfucking who I am. I don't gotta be poly apologetic for that, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if a motherfucker don't like me. Come to the show, I bet I motherfucker work that motherfucker stage. <clears throat> I ain't gotta be apologetic because I'm talented. The man said I only do comedy one way. I wish he would change. That's what the man said. So, I'm supposed to be like, oh yeah, yeah. No, motherfucker, I'm the shit. I'm the shit. I'm doing comedy sitting in a chair at the motherfucking Coin Academy, you dig what I'm saying? Home of the Baller bo ball Podcast. <laughs> I ain't just do it. I, we sung before the show. Niggas fucking niggas, but they act like they like hoes. That's my whole story out here in LA. I get pushed out of doors, and I know why I get pushed out of doors, because I know I don't fit in that room. You, on the other hand, little bro, you try to fit in them rooms. You're not going to fit in there. You're going to keep getting pushed out, because it ain't necessarily because somebody hates you. It's, are you finna watch niggas fuck each other? You're not finna watch it. They don't want you to watch them enjoy a man. He, he, he can't fuck that boy in front of you. The weekend is like this. Oh, here come Marcus. When you come in the green room, they be like this. Yeah, <laughs> Boy, I dare you to go to the hotel lobby about 3 o'clock in the morning. They be out there just like this in that lobby. Like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I dare you to get their room door and listen to that motherfucker. What's gonna sound like dogs fighting in that motherfucker? This is why they don't be fucking with you for real. Hey man, y'all think I don't do I don't do that so I can be on the road. I don't, I don't do that so I can be on the road with them, nigga. I I'll just be nigga. If, if that's my friend, nigga, that's my friend. I don't give a fuck if he don't never put me on the road again. You, you That you ain't know, true. Huh? That ain't true, nigga. What? If that nigga don't put you on the road no more, you'll feel some kind of way because he supposed to be your friend. Well, he wasn't putting me on the road. He wasn't, but then I he... He wasn't putting me on the road till I called him. Right, and he and you got a chance to work at Caroline's in New York. Yeah. That's quite a pleasure. I mean, that's quite, that's quite a feat it, yeah. as a young comedian. Caroline's is motherfucking on Broadway in New York. Do you think a lot of comedians will get to work, Caroline's? No. How long have you been doing comedy? Seven years. Seven years. And you got to work Caroline's. That's that nice. ain't no regular club. That's like, yeah. That's I work Caroline's. 
That's damn right. And like I put you. in a lot of work to get that motherfucker. I'm not trying to compare. I'm just saying, you got a chance to work Caroline. If that's your man, you saw Baby Boy? Remember Baby Boy tried that shit? What you want from me? That motherfucker said, because you my man. You my man. You supposed to take care of me if you my man. If Look, Margaret, I'm not going to let you be out here <laughs> fucked up because I'll be fucking with you. I'm not going to let you be fucked up like that. Now, I ain't going to lie. I kind of stay to myself when it really, like, after this show, I'm going to be by my motherfucking self because that's who the fuck I am. But I know shit that's happening with you. And I don't know. I'm going to throw you licks one way or another because you my man. I fuck with you. So you can't never say, oh, he ain't got to do shit for me. Fuck that. If that's your man, he post the motherfucking look out for you. Fuck that shit. If that's your man. That's why I be by myself because I don't want nobody to say, nigga, you be with me all the time and you motherfucking woo, woo, woo. That's why I be like, so it's probably better for me to be by myself. Motherfucker owe you. Motherfucker, that nigga was at the beach with your family in a sweatshirt. Marcus? Marcus opened up his door and let these bust ass niggas in. They be over his house smiling with his family because he a good nigga. I give Marcus about five more years of that shit. About five more years of that shit. After, after this fifth year, he ain't going to want none of them niggas around him because he going to realize them niggas ain't fucking with me for real. But I fuck with them for real. When I when they come to town, I motherfucker <laughs> open the front door and let them in. Hmm. They don't like you because you won't open your back door and let them in. I know you don't believe me. Really, you believe me. It's just you ain't ready to say it yet. If you ain't fucking them niggas, you don't fit in with them niggas. That's why I might not never get no Hollywood accolades because niggas have to run me out of their camp when they first see me, I'm fun, I'm interested. But then when they ready to motherfucking fuck a nigga, they be like, over here. And they gotta shake me away. That goes with Hollywood, goes with hairstylists, it goes with everybody. Motherfuckers shake me really because I don't fit in in their community. You'll see. You'll see. But old boy who motherfucker said I only do comedy one way, dog. It's another thing. It's the dude who managed him named Jeru. And Jeru, when I first met Jeru, comedian Dominique, be my witness. I had known him probably about a year or so. I told him, oh, man, you a fake-ass motherfucking nigga, dog. Come on, man. Not on no evil shit trying to fight him. Just saying, you, 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 you a Hollywood nigga, man. You ain't sincere about nothing. And that motherfucker got mad at me. And as life turns out, he's exactly what I said he was. When we did the show at the YouTube Theater, the nigga Jeru was basically in charge of the show. Wasn't your people outside? Huh. Your mama and your family was outside. Like, yo, what's up? Because Jeru was in charge. That's Ryan, man. You think Ryan checked Jeru? Hey, man, don't have my motherfucking people out there, man. These, this who I fuck with. This who I be with when I'm in L.A. If they come to some shit to support me and be there, motherfucker, don't have them outside. That's Corey Hoka. Don't have my motherfucking people outside not able to get in the motherfucker. What the fuck kind of shit is this? I bet you the, the, the Twinkle Toe Turtle ain't saying nothing about that shit. But he be with y'all all the time at the beach in a sweatshirt. If I'm lying, I'm dying. I saw a nigga at the beach with a hoodie on. The Twinkle Turtle. That was the funniest shit in the world. Y'all was all sitting in lawn chairs. I was like, is y'all, is that sand? Y'all at the beach? That nigga got on a sweatshirt at the beach? Nigga quit hiding that body, boy. Look at me. I mean. Let's see it. I'm just saying. Let's I, I ain't all it. that, but I ain't finna be at the beach in a sweatshirt. But that's you. What's something wrong with me? The man act like something's wrong with me. Nigga, you was at the beach in a sweatshirt. <laughs> anyway, I right, fuck it. I done pissed motherfuckers off for now who was fans of him. I done put Marcus on the spot. But I did it on purpose. No. I want him to be mad at you, to be honest. Oh, my God. See? <laughs>
You didn't say nothing, Marcus. You didn't take up for me. Come say it to me, motherfucker. Say it to me since we cool. It ain't no beef. It's just a nigga with a problem and all that shit. Nigga, say that shit to me, fruit booty boy. Sometimes my silence is defending. What happened? No. Sometimes my silence is defending him. Your side is what? Sometimes my silence Silence. is defending them. That's what. And I agree. I hear you too, Mark. Because y'all motherfuckers said I troll. Motherfucker, have you seen his page? The shit this boy say on his page is amazing. That motherfucker had on a chain that said the goat. You need a turtle chain, nigga. But that is trolling, though. Like when you. What's trolling? When you go on people's pages and you just look for stuff like that and then you. You say it's trolling if you see something on somebody's page? No, no, when you go into their social media and, and check them out, check things out. Well, I don't go into nobody's social media. I don't fuck with social media, really. But people give me this information. Here's what your boy did right here. Oh, that's good. Here's what your boy did. Marcus is my social media. Marcus tell me almost all the shit about the boy. So, I'm just saying. Corey, y'all can find a way to make Corey the bad guy. I got somebody coming up here. People don't call him the bad guy. Let me tell you why they don't call him the bad guy. Because they scared of him. I was talking to the homie Willie D on the phone this week, and it was funny. Willie D said he used to speak at the prisons. And he said, man, all them motherfuckers, he said, most of the motherfuckers on death row was under 5'7". Them little bitty motherfuckers be the killers. He said that shit, and I believe him. It be them little niggas that be the killers, and don't nobody talk crazy to them. Don't nobody tell them they trolling, because you know if you say something to them, they gonna be ready to slap the shit out you. Certain motherfuckers. That's why motherfuckers is quick to say something about me, because they know I'm kind, like Xerxes on 300, for I am kind. <laughs> I'm a kind dude. I laugh most of the shit off that motherfuckers do, but this is why I be by my motherfucking self. Because I know motherfuckers are picked the side of the bitch. Uh. Motherfuckers are picked the side of the, of, the, of the soft ass nigga before they motherfucking pick my side, and I've been living that my whole life. Fear is what people respect. You fear the bitch getting you put in jail. You fear the motherfucking nigga that'll beat your ass. But all the motherfucking niggas who are fair. Oh, you talk shit about them. You talk shit about them. Because they ain't the type of motherfuckers to haul off and slap the shit out. That's how life really go. There is no respect. If motherfuckers don't fear you, nigga, respect is some motherfucking shit that motherfuckers volunteer and give you. They, they feel sorry for you and give you some respect. I don't need respect from no motherfucker. I be by my mother fucking self all motherfucking week because I know even motherfuckers who smile with you and act like they're your people they have picked the side of the meek and the weak so I tell everybody be the fuck over there with them I speak to you hey what up man all that yeah what up boy show you love everything but I know what's up I know what's up about every motherfucker who be in my circle any motherfucker around me, I done peeped you, homie. And I sit back and watch the shit. I be like, okay, yeah, that's what that is right there. That's why Ryan could talk shit about me and never get checked or never get called a troll. But I'm the troll. <laughs> you ever call Ryan a troll? Yeah. You ain't called that nigga no troll. That's all he do is troll. You ain't called that. You ain't called him a troll in his face because he won't let you open up. Nigga, I can call him a troll. It ain't a troll. It ain't even no. You said you it, can call him a troll. You don't call. You don't talk to that nigga like that. That nigga, he he tax you. He will tax you. T a x you no. if you talk to man, him for real. I don't know why you think I care about that shit like that. I don't. You give care a fuck about, about that, that shit, shit like that, man. Because if the motherfucker it, disrespect you the first time, you to get the fuck away from. Him. If a motherfucker gonna handle the shit like a real motherfucker, G. If you see the nigga play you, you won't be coming to me. Man, that nigga did me like this. You'll be like, hey, man, fuck that whole ass nigga. Look how that nigga played me. And I'll be right with you. Yeah, fuck that nigga. If he playing the motherfucking family like that. 
No, nah, you can come back and tell well, I, me. Well, I'm, I'm a different nigga. I, 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 I give niggas chances. That, that's, that's, that might be a... I believe uh, you give niggas chances. Yeah, I that see might, that in you. I see that, that might in be you. a weakness about you me. Do I don't that know. With you anybody, know it's Corey? a weakness, Marcus. Corey, you don't do that with anybody? What you mean? Like if somebody does you wrong or a couple things, something that you don't agree with or you don't care for, and you keep them around. Okay, D, so let me explain you don't myself do that? to you again. At all with anybody? Yeah, I didn't did it before. I didn't have people around me that to play me. <clears throat> yep. What else? Just ask him. Well, she right. she asked him why you talking about me then if you do, if you do it. Hey, hey, but I tell you like this, I be by myself all motherfucking day. And if I got a motherfucker around me who done played me, you best believe I'm using that motherfucker for something. Okay. I'm using that motherfucker for something, but I tell you what, I ain't got to be with you. I ain't got to be with you. When I call you up, what I want, I'm going to ask for it. If you say no, fuck it. I don't hang with motherfuckers that hide niggas all up under me at my motherfucking crib <laughs> laughing with my family, and I know they do some fuck shit. I never have a nigga who come in my house and steal my mama hats around me. And I'm just saying. That nigga, I bet that nigga ain't never really got checked for that whole shit. He ain't never been called a troll by you. You ain't never talked to that nigga like that. I know, because I can see how he smile when he around you. I'm like, yeah, that nigga ain't in line. Do you know what the so, definition of a troll is? What's the definition of a troll? An internet troll or online bully deliberately tries to offend cause trouble or directly attack people by posting derogatory comments on social media, such as Twitter and Instagram. Well, I don't be on social media, but I tell you like this, like the man say, I push people away from me. Every motherfucker who got the fuck away from me, I stand on it. Any motherfucker who got away from me, I stand on it, nigga. Fuck on. Any motherfucker who ain't fucking with me, get the fuck on, nigga. Talk about like, am I supposed to feel bad because somebody got the fuck away from me? The reason motherfuckers get the fuck away from me because if they come with that cake ass shit, I'm going to put them on blast. Just like you did on that motherfucking show. Now, if you get the fuck away and don't send Marcus messages to send to me no more, then that's what it is. I don't believe you're going to call Marcus no more and be like, hey, Marcus, tell Corey I'm in town. Can I come through the show? No, nah, you ain't going to do that no more because you embarrassed. I know you homosexual. And I'm putting it out there. Your man, he's still around me. He's still around me. You talking about people don't be around me? Mark is right there. So why Mark is right there? I bet you if I told Mark to come out of town, I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do. I ain't going to have him out of town and then not put him on stage. But I'm the troll. I thought a troll was a motherfucker who sit under a bridge and eat goats. Well, that too. <laughs> that too. That's what I grow up knowing a troll is. <laughs> oh, God. Is it, is, wait oh, a minute, what did you say a troll was, D? That's what, the, that's what they use it nowadays for. That's what it's called. So they got, they got <laughs> the, I ain't said plenty of times to be trolling because like it, ain't even, no, it ain't even no, nothing, nothing negative. Like, it's, it's, when people troll motherfuckers, it's, it's just they motherfuckers be fucking with folks. Yeah, they, they want to go on there instigate. There's a bunch I of them. I didn't say it. I, man, stop trolling the, so much. I didn't say it there. When it they go on there, they make negative comments to you whatever. So I don't know why you took that to heart. You said, well, I took it to heart? Yeah, you took that. You ain't said you trolling it. Because you don't call them niggas trolls. I don't believe you talk to that man like that because if you talk to that man like that, he going to shake you. He going to shake you, homie. I shake motherfuckers because I know drama coming. Like I, all the niggas who call my phone every week, Corey, look, man, I want to be on the show. Dog, I'm actually scared for my life. I know what a, what a fan type slash groupie nigga will do. Them the motherfuckers I be scared of, the motherfuckers who be coming at me knowing I don't want no motherfucker. I'm going to say it again. <clears throat> Everybody don't fit the voice of this show. If I invite you to the show, it's because I'm like, okay, I'll try something. But when you impose yourself on me, I'm going to St. Louis this week. You think the St. Louis comics ain't getting at me? Corey, 
yo, I got to hit the stage with you and all that shit. No, nigga, I don't want no nigga on stage with me. But I worry about the niggas that push it because them the niggas, I, I, that, that, that movie Selena is real. It be the groupie type motherfuckers that'll do something to you. The groupie type motherfuckers, them the motherfuckers who want it in a way where if you don't do what they say, watch The Last Dragon. Eddie, Eddie Arcadian type motherfucker. That motherfucker wanted his bitch to be on the motherfucking shit so bad he was ready to kill a motherfucker to do it. This is how it go. But I'm saying, I'm the easy target. That's what I'm saying. It's easy to call Corey Holcomb a troll. But this motherfucker's out here, y'all don't call trolls because y'all know something wrong with him. Y'all don't talk to him like y'all talk to me. I'm the big homie who motherfucking got the heart of gold, who let y'all motherfuckers say whatever about me. But I be mad because y'all don't say that to them niggas who really do you wrong. Well, how you go all the way to Texas and don't put you on stage? But brag when he do put you on stage. What happened in Texas, homie? He didn't put you on stage. You went down there, you live all the way in Los Angeles. Matter of fact, you don't live in Los Angeles. You stay in the valley deep and you found your way all the way to Texas. Did he say something on Sway Show about when he didn't put you on stage? No, he said something about when he did. But he say something wrong with me. You bitch ass nigga, if I'd have came to Texas and you ain't put me on stage, I'd have motherfucker when he got the homie that's finna come up here on your ass. <laughs> Cause we finna hear what really happened that night at the Lab Factory from somebody else. And if, it's, if you say it ain't true, we'll see if it ain't true. But y'all didn't tell me all this shit happened at the Lab Factory when he got ran out of town. What? Hmm. Or when him and his roommate broke up. Troll is a negative comment towards anybody. Y'all slow. I agree. If somebody call you a troll, do that sound good? I mean, you yeah, can you can be a troll just because they be fucking with folks. I don't, I don't. That don't necessarily mean you. It ain't that just got to. I don't. Whatever, man. It, I mean, you just play too much. They work. need to do. They need to do a statistics check on who gets called a troll. I get called all kinds of things, but. You say you get called all kinds of things? We all do. I said we all what, do. What do people call you, D? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. You caught up, ain't you? Can't you think of nothing even No, they back. do. Uh, oh, God. I don't what do they call you? You used to complain and say what the people be saying oh, well, in the you, chat room. You make fun of me because you say I can't see, but that's obvious. But did y'all see that? On. Did y'all see that? She said something about me. Oh, boo-hoo. Now you're going to say she's going cool. I'm the easy target. Oh, brother. What was the word, what was the word y'all the called me? Right there. Uh, a narcissist? A instigator, antagonizer. Mm -hmm. Narcissist. Both of y'all is. You didn't call that white bitch a narcissist. The white bitch you said was your friend. I didn't never hear you say narcissist or nothing about the white bitch that tried to cause drama between me and Rick Ross. I, but I'm a narcissist. No, I do. I bet you ain't talked to that white bitch since you called her your friend you that week. You have no idea what, what happened after that because you hung up. Cole, do you think well, I'm we a real friend of you, that. man? You cool, bro. You cool. You ain't, you ain't gonna do no motherfucking uh, scandalous shit on purpose. You learning life. You learning how shit go. <sighs> One day, I believe you gonna be a motherfucker to check whole shit. Right now, you don't check the whole shit. So if you around me all the time, I'm going to be in danger from niggas like the, the turtle and anybody else that be around you. You don't know how to put them motherfuckers in line and be like, hold on, nigga. That's my motherfucking man. Like if somebody says something about you, I'm going to be like, hold on, motherfucker. What? I might even call you while they talking shit. I might be, hold on, man, you talking all this shit. Hit a nigga, go right here, hold on. Marvin, what, this fuck nigga so, said something about you. So that's, you. That's the type of niggas that I will gravitate toward. Motherfuckers who have graduated mentally and understand how rare a friend is. But it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing against you in a way where I hold it against you because I believe that it's growing pains, bro. 
<laughs> like I said, I got you by what? Damn near 20. You learning. I'm sorry. You learning. So, you like, you, you, you the young bro that, with, with the potential. That's why you beat out the other motherfuckers. I had motherfuckers up here, motherfucking dope fiends talking crazy to me about keep my name out your mouth. Man, I didn't have motherfuckers say shit to me that I shouldn't have never let that shit go. But I let it go because I ain't got time for it. I really be working and shit. I be gone. So I ain't got time to nurture sick niggas. You the one out the group that I was like, let me grab this nigga. This is a good nigga right here. Let me motherfucking... Here, nigga, I got you really by a headlock right now because I'm poking at you today. But I bet you if you needed something, you know you could call me. If I got it, I'll give it to you. Well, we all know that Marcus is a good dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I, ain't say, I ain't saying Marcus is a bad guy. Why you ask me, am I your friend? Yeah, I'll fuck with you for real, nigga. I'm shit, I'll fuck with you for real. You one of the few motherfuckers in L.A. I really fuck with. That is true. I believe that. Shit, I ain't gonna motherfucking lie about what it is, my nigga. Shit, it's just, but at the same time, you gotta learn to be the lion. Right now, you still like Simba and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real shit. I you like Simba. You ain't, ain't, don't hold him I ain't up. in During position. Just don't I, hold him up, okay? Come on. I ain't in position like you. you know what What's I mean? the position? Not yet, Marcus. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, ain't I don't starting. have a. I'm, I'm not, I'm, my status ain't where you is. You know what I'm saying? So Only like- status ain't got nothing to do with it, little bro. Let me tell you something, boy. I know you ain't no punk ass nigga. I know that. That's why I fuck with you. I fuck with the Titans, nigga. I fuck with the Titans. I fuck with the motherfuckers that's really the motherfuckers not to be played with. I like motherfucking niggas like that. I don't like motherfucking niggas that sneak you behind your back and you know, uh, oh, let me record this nigga while he doing this shit and then motherfucking use it against him later on or some shit like that. I don't fuck with niggas like that. I fuck with the Titans. I'm comfortable around the Titans. I was in Nashville this weekend. It was a big ass motherfucking white boy. Huge, huge white boy. And we all got on the elevator together. And that one of them said, what's up, bro? I was like, what's up, man? Shit. I like that type of shit. I'm scared. I don't like when motherfucking little bitty niggas with fingernail polish get on the elevator and be like, hello, sir. I would be like, man, I want to kill this motherfucker. Oh, no, you didn't. No. That's just how I really feel. Oh, Lord. I don't like the weak. I don't like the weak. I don't like, I don't, mm. I don't like weak motherfuckers around me, man. And motherfuckers who learn it. I could, I could deal with a motherfucker learning, man. Exactly. We all you we see. all grew up, most of us grew up with a single mom. We learned trial by error. We learned trial by error. Did you know at one time, the villages in Africa, you had to earn your right to be in the village? You had to earn your right to be in the village, man. He's saying, it's, it's, he's saying we earned our right here, Mark. No, we didn't, we didn't earn our right. We just learned by enough fuck shit, stay the fuck away from motherfuckers. We learned by enough fuck shit, stay the fuck away from certain people, goddammit. Darlene, you done cut a lot of people off, right? I do that with the quickness. And you can go, you can go back into my history as even a child. But the moment that somebody does something wrong to me. Now, if they apologize, I'll accept it depending on what it is for, like what it's about, but then I'll definitely reiterate, reiterate to them that, look, it's not going to be the same after this. But, you know, I'll, yeah, but I'm quick to do that because I, I don't have time like that. I've been through too much heavy shit in my life that I'm like, I don't need no stuff like that around me. Because like if, you, if you let it linger and hang on there, something bound, bigger bound to happen. So you just keep I done had niggas tell me, people like that at bay. I had niggas tell me about this show. Oh, you fucked up the show. Woo, woo, woo. Man, let me tell you something. About what? What do you mean? I'm saying like when I get into it with motherfuckers. Oh, cool. I ain't gonna never fuck up my show, nigga. I'm riveting. Yeah, it is your show. I'm yeah. the truth, nigga. I'm the motherfucking truth, nigga. I ain't gonna never fuck up my show. I don't have no ill intent behind nobody, man. Me you know say I mean? you ain't got no ill intent behind nobody. I believe yeah. that. I believe that, and I'm man enough to talk to you for real. If I thought you had ill intent behind somebody, I'd be like, oh, nigga. Mm. But you emotional young brother. You'll grow out of it. I believe that. 
I believe that. That's why I fuck. You don't with think you. I'm gonna be good hard? <laughs> no, you think they're gonna take away my good heart? Hell no. It's too ingrained. How old are you by now? Nah. See, about a, right about thirty, you you, you kind of figure out somebody's character. I mean, like, Rarely look, look man, can't nobody them. take your heart away, dog. If you if you a good hearted nigga, you a good hearted nigga. It's just your tolerance for bullshit is what's gonna go away. And sometimes people have to learn on their own, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the same thing. Your yeah. tolerance for bullshit. What is 10K hits? What is that? You got 10,000 people watching. So all the people, when I got into arguments with people. They love to see that. And y'all motherfuckers say, oh, it's shit. over. 5150 show over. Check them motherfuckers and see if they got 10,000 motherfuckers in they motherfucking shit. Yeah. Somebody send me $50 for being a good oh, nigga. Oh, nice. See, there we go. It's being a good All them motherfuckers you say I fucked up and I motherfucking ran them away, they got 10,000 motherfuckers in they shit? Man, I could never fuck up. I tell, I speak from the heart. When you speak from the heart, the good come with it, the bad come with it. But in the long run, it's respectable. In the long run, it's respectable. Motherfucking Archie Bunker. Uh oh TV show. <laughs> White man. He was, he was a bigot, but he spoke from the heart. That's why he became likable after a while. People be like, what okay. this motherfucker gonna say? Yeah. You actually want to see what he gonna say. Because yeah. the motherfucker's speaking from the heart. It's the motherfuckers who act like everybody else fucked up, knowing they ready to jump out the motherfucking window. Oh, my God. This motherfucker acting like something wrong with me. Nigga, you about to jump out the motherfucking window. That forced-ass laugh at, at, at Sway Show. That nigga said, <laughs> I was like, look at this. Desperate ass wanna be funny motherfucker. Nigga, you better motherfucking bow down to the motherfucking, to the motherfucking, what the, what they call it? You gotta motherfucking recognize something that's greater than yourself, nigga. You not the nigga you think you are. You boy, you ain't got no business. Man, you ain't got no business wearing nothing to say goat on it. You need a chain with a throat on it. You need a chain with a throat on it. Now that's what you the king of. Cause I know you, boy, you, you can't walk around with no goat on no chain. What you the goat of? You ain't the goat of nothing. The goat of absolutely nothing. It ain't nothing you that good at. You said you need to have a chain with a throat and a goat. You need a, you need a chain with a throat on it, not a goat. Oh, I thought you was called oh, a throat goat. <laughs> That's probably what he good at. You stupid. Man. Throat game immaculate. That's probably what you good at. So. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker say whatever about Corey, goddammit. Corey is riveting. That's why real niggas fuck with me, man. I came up here to this motherfucking coin academy. Goddammit, I ain't know my niggas up here. I was like, uh, oh shit, we try some new shit. Look, I ain't saying this shit because I'm a motherfucking fake nigga who be trying to impress motherfuckers. The niggas up here at the motherfucking coin academy hey, is thorough. Hey, jeez. I ain't, I ain't never seen niggas like this since I moved to L.A. for real, for real. And I'm not saying niggas in L.A. ain't real. I done met some motherfuckers who, 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 come, who, who seem to be good people, who seem to be motherfuckers who genuine when they talk to me. But because I be around these motherfuckers once a week, I get to watch them. Dog, do I be someplace that ain't mine this long? No. The reason I've been here this long and got comfortable is because I swear to God, I look at these people as 100 niggas who would tell me what the fuck I need to know. Oh, this is the downest ever. Come on, man. I mean, I ain't gonna even lie, man. My nigga, he watching right now. Long and I ain't trying man. to I ain't trying to front. Long but man, I love real. my nigga Laylaw's whole motherfucking get down. Cause he don't smile with niggas. When he laughing, that was a real laugh. That's a real laugh. It ain't that shit. Look at that laugh that was on Sway Show. That <laughs> when you look around when you laugh, you hoping you getting some laughs. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Laylaw, man, that motherfucking nigga, that nigga. That nigga look at everything like that ain't shit, nigga. Nah, they they smile. Two more them. niggas in me. You got to impress him to smile yeah. for him to smile. Those and I really like fun. that. That's Titan shit. Three more people send me $50. That's crazy. Tomorrow, that's crazy. You got $50? Three from three, four I'm finna send you $50. Four different well, people. Well, what the hell? Huh. I'm sitting right what here. They saying, oh my God. What they just saying, they, they, for me, 
being a solid nigga. That was like respect it's to true. you and shit That's like true. that. That's but true. But I, I motherfucking gave you yours. I give you flowers right now because it's real. If I didn't mean it, I wouldn't you have gave, said it. You gave me flowers. You gave me flowers on the show last week when you you came. You you did a you did a video and you came to the. What you talking about? Last week on my show, on my birthday show. Oh, you talking show. about your birthday show? Yeah, you can't. You oh, did a I video. He did a video. Like he did a video, and then he still came through. You, mm -hmm. you the only nigga that did that. Well, we had some fun at your show. Yeah. I was gonna come through. Yeah, I called you, your mom. I was still working. So. Yeah, darling, you would have had a good time. It was, it was crazy. Yeah, a lot of people watched that show, show. Yeah, last week's show was crazy. I, I never had a birthday like that, oh, man. It's like a, a lot of people came through. And a lot of people sent videos. It was like a, it was like a celebrity. Did your boys send a video? Oh. Niggas fucking niggas, but Here they act go. like they like hoes. <laughs> Nigga. The trolls sent a video. Remember that? My trolling ass. Oh, I sent you a video, Oh, my Remember God. Remember that? that really and showed up. <laughs> sat on the couch next to Boo Capone, big eye ass. <laughs> Boo was up there like this. Throw it out, nigga. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. But this is what we do. We sit around, we kick it. Let me tell you why we sit around, we kick it and talk shit. Because that group of niggas that we really be sitting around with talking shit, I don't really see no motherfuckers. It ain't no fake love in that group. We all be rooting on each other, even though we all got our problems. All us fucked up, man. All us fucked up. Who that? Oh, oh that's for you, look Marcus. at Go Mac. Oh shit. How long you been knowing Go Mac? About a year, right? Yeah. If you been that long. You ever seen some long? motherfuckers like that? You yeah. ever seen motherfuckers like that? Go from. Mac always be blessing motherfuckers, dog. Is he gone? They all do. I mean, that's why we're here. He gone? Later? I think he left, yeah. He gave it to you in the type of bag that you really supposed to have it in. <laughs> <laughs> These type of niggas we fuck with up here, man. These motherfucking niggas, what, what you get? You yeah, got look. you some uh, bacon soda for your arms. What the hell is this? A coloring, a coloring book. book. <laughs> he got you a coloring book, nigga. I cannot. Ah, is you the crayons me. in there? That nigga. Yeah. He, he, got this he knows he likes candy. it. That's he got this nigga some candy. candy. <laughs> I love it. What is this? Crayons. Crayons, nigga. Go back. I want a color right now. That nigga go back. Oh color some of them outfits you be wearing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he gave that nigga some brute deodorant. I can't laugh. <laughs> well, that brute is sting your arm. <laughs> <laughs> What's on there? Oh, shit, <laughs> different like strokes. Different Look strokes. who he got up there. Oh, my God. <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be. Wait. Wait. He got me his motherfucking uh, Tom Bridge and Dope Fade ass. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with <laughs> Oh my God, Fuck you, go man. You ain't <laughs> shit for that. I be getting them subliminal messages. You be sitting, motherfucker. You got me as Todd Bridges. Don't be that. <laughs> Are you really Todd Bridges, or is that the is that what's his name? Give me a piece of that candy. Nigga, give me one of them lollipops. I feel it. I need uh -oh, one. Oh yeah, please. Here. Be I wore I wore this shirt for for Yeah, don't be today. acting like a sucker, man. I wore this shirt for today. What is that? You got some chill. You know EPMD. Come of course. On you got of course. some chill. I met the one brother at the airport. I didn't know he was that big. That motherfucker Eric, big like Layla. Eric is big. Which, I, yeah. Eric is, has the, the, this the, the, quieter the yellow one. eyes. The yellow eyes. Eric. No, I met the other one. Parrish. That motherfucker big too. Yeah. Who? I ain't know. I thought there was some little bitty rapping niggas. Them Who old ass. Eric and Parrish from EPMD. Let me see. I don't know them. I met that one. They signed your stuff? Are they what? They signed your shirt? Yeah, that was for my birthday a couple years ago. I'll show you the video. They made a video too. I'll Big look. shout out to EPMD and this motherfucker. Somebody say, I love Boo Capone. He hilarious. Boo Capone, crazy than a motherfucker. He one of them niggas that grow on you. When you first meet him, you be like, who is this crazy motherfucker? That nigga grow and mold on you. Then after a while, he just keep... <laughs> that motherfucker was... Hey, hey, he was in front of the improv riding his auntie. No, to my uh, right. right back. Night, he was talking oh, about her. He, 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 he did it before. He did it. You remember? He don't give a fuck. <laughs> Buka Paul crazy ass. I'm gonna get them crazy ass niggas up here. It's a couple of niggas I fuck with. I gotta get them up here, man. But it's like you got. You can't have no look around. You gotta put the look up. You are gonna have boo on them. No, it's gonna be a signifying show. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, all right, everybody. 
Buka Pong. Oh, nigga. That's what it was last week. If you ain't watched mainstream last week, we roasted. Uh, we roasted what? Some hours? Yeah. It was. It was we roasted. Slink. Slink was on that roasting with him. Um. Dang! Everybody there. fit on the couch. Somebody Yo, saw me point with my pinky. Panoramic. Fuck you, nigga. Uh -oh. What they was doing, D? And that was bringing. Taking some turns. They were taking turns. Okay, People coming nice. in on coming on the couch. Scruncho okay. was. Uh, it was Scruncho and something like special, like outside, like at a park or something. That'd have been cool. Well, I ain't have it set up like that. That would have been cool, though. When is your birthday, D? February 26th. We're going to do something in the park, just because you said that. Oh. Mm -hmm. I ain't never used that stage I bought. I bought Ooh. a big-ass stage. That's we got to have bad. a 5150 show a sweet, outside. See? He got a sweet, he got a soft side. Man, look, I ain't remember half the shit I wrote down on that thing, Thank but God. I'm just saying, it ain't over, motherfucker. It ain't over, motherfucker. I'm waiting on the motherfucking witness to come testify. We got states. We got a, we got a witness. What, what they call well, state listen, witness? Listen, I want you to understand this. When I say he trolling, I don't. I mean he fucking with you. That's, Who fucking that, with me? That's what I mean. No, when I say trolling, he's using I'm it saying, his way. His way saying. is different. I'm his saying way is like not the mate, mean he way. just fucking with you, man. He's just trolling you. Like Who that? It out. When I say that, oh, who was trolling me though? No. If I when tell, like, like fans, if I tell, man, he just fucking with you, nigga, he just trolling you. I mean, he's just fucking with you. Okay. He's but he ain't, it, out, it ain't, man. it ain't, that I mean, it ain't serious. He just fucking with you. That's what trolling, you tell, I don't know what you think it mean, but that ain't no, what No, no, no. Mean, what I said back to you, you don't say trolling to certain people. I admit that. You don't, you don't talk. I watch how you talk to the weak and the envious. You, you be, you worry about they feelings. But with me, he be like, fuck that nigga. Because you know I'm durable. I'm just saying. Don't suck on that lollipop, Corey. Man, oh, because. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Put it in one time. Somebody crack say it. my blood sugar low. Put it in one time. Crack but, but, but it, crack it up. But you're not supposed to, though. Okay. Like what? You ain't supposed to, to, to pick on the, on the weak. Uh, like, you know what I mean? You ain't Who to... says you ain't supposed to pick on the weak? Oh, if a shit. nigga say Somebody he going to kill up. himself. Paul Jones. If a nigga act like he gonna commit suicide, I get frustrated by niggas who don't commit suicide who say they gonna commit suicide. That is very frustrating. You are fucking with me. I don't want nobody to commit suicide, but if you say you gonna commit suicide, will you please follow through so we ain't got to worry about you? And see, as well, that's don't where we listen. differ. Don't listen to Corey. And, and that's like where we that. differ. I, 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 you know what I mean? I try to tread light around people like that. You know what I mean? What you because mean? I don't want to be the trigger that, that, that I don't want to be the trigger that the reason why the mother died. Like that nigga Margaret said this, and that nigga killed himself. So if somebody killed himself, you think it's somebody out here who could say, "Well, he killed himself because of what you said"? No, not because of what you said. Oh, but yeah, it could have triggered uh, it. Right. If somebody killed himself, it's because. They were put here to kill themselves. They was put here to kill themselves? I'm saying if they do it like that, <laughs> we all kill ourselves. I'm eating a lollipop in front of these <laughs> ignorant ass 5150 niggas. I'm killing myself. <laughs> and the twist, too. They tighten up on your scalp. It's hurting your brain. Twist tighten up on my scalp? These straining like a motherfucker with them glasses. They, they strain your eyes towards you. Oh, uh, okay. Just say four eyes. And headaches and shit. You Just be say four eyes. It's okay. I'll Come it. from them glasses. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody say sweet smacking lessons. Uh, Fuck y'all. They, they, <laughs> they said, bet if one of, it was one of the Corey family members, he wouldn't feel that way. Y'all don't know this nigga. He yeah, don't give yeah. tell y'all motherfuckers something. Mm -mm, don't he act, don't give a don't goddamn. If a motherfucker threatened me with killing themselves and they don't do it, I am frustrated with them. Don't threaten me with killing yourself. I don't want you to kill yourself, but if you kill yourself, goddammit, we're going to have a gathering, eat some chicken, and carry on. You killed yourself, nigga. You gave up. Can't give up. Everybody who killed themselves, they took the easy way out. I don't give a fuck who get mad. I don't want you to kill yourself, but if you feel like that's the best way to handle it, how do you business? But don't be broadcasting it, motherfucker. 
trolling and all that shit like they say. You troll and you said you was going to kill yourself. Well, sometimes that is their own people. I'm not speaking for him, but that is their way. You are speaking for them. I'm talking about the, the particular person. You said that's their way. You speaking no, for them. I, and I just said, but not this particular person. Well, everybody saying, but him. Okay, I'm go ahead. saying sometimes when people express themselves like that, that unfortunately is their only way maybe of kind of letting people know that something's going on wrong. Right? It's not their only way. If you kill yourself, you think it's easier way, to take then. yourself not out. Only, not only, but a way of letting people know that something is wrong. But it's wrong when they tell you they're going to kill themselves. When they kill themselves without telling you, that's noble. There's a lot of people that, that, that have attempted to kill themselves or, or have thought, has thoughts of suicide or, you know, or verbally expressed. How do you expressed. attempt to kill yourself? Well, they do the, the, the slice. They, ain't, they don't. You know, it's just slicing your wrist and shit. They don't do it the right way. It ain't whatever. no killing yourself. That's some I want some attention and to use this insurance in the hospital. <laughs> if you want to kill yourself, this is where you put the gun. Right up under there. Right here. Right here. Well, they have no ah! gun. They might not have no oh, gun. They... <laughs> That's how you kill yourself. Yeah. If you're trying to kill yourself, do it right. Remember that scene in Lethal Weapon, Danny Glover? Oh, boy, it was like this. He was like, no. Put it under your skull so you can you do it from that. My bullet might go through and boom, boom, boom. No, motherfucker. Shit, yeah. goddammit. Corey Troton Lollipop. <laughs> Fuck yeah, nigga. Choking on the hole. That's what they said. They say I'm Troton. Anyway, um, Tell Corey don't do that with that lollipop. Uh -oh. Man, fuck y'all, nigga. Uh-oh. There it goes. Uh-huh. Heterosexual male right here. Lollipops and pussy go on this mouth. Can we all say that, Twinkle Turtle? Part of the show that I'm sure Marcus is glad we're getting to. <laughs> I'm here for you, Marcus. Here for ya. These loose. This is the first time we glad this part of the show is. <laughs> Marcus off the hook now. These <sighs> loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. bullshit. Marcus even said it with me. He's so glad this boy. I'm stop. Thank you, Marcus, for that. Anyway. Thank y'all for the cash out, man. That's very nice. Everybody yeah, should be hundreds and fifties nice. in these cases. All right. Uh, well, speaking of people that seem like they might be unknowingly reaching out, I don't know, signs that people say are signs, uh, Wendy Williams. So starting back from when that picture of her foot, when she went on that, she did that interview um, mm -hmm. and lifted her foot. So starting from then, that was what, earlier in the month, last month, because now we're officially August, so July, um, her brother is even coming out now and saying, listen, that there's, um, he's basi basically to me in his interview he just did, he, he's, um, what I looked at is issuing a plea and asking people to actually uh, pray for her, because he says that something seriously really is wrong with her. So, I mean, so he's saying that something's wrong with her now that she don't have a show? No, the, no, no, things that she's doing, I guess, recently. And if he, it, I, think I, I wasn't following it, but I caught some of the little tidbits and I, and I caught that apparently she ha now has some new guy around her who now is calling himself her manager. So he's managing her, used to be her jeweler. They say, uh, uh, uh. yeah. So just Get not that the, paper, Nick. yeah. But you know, yeah, taking advantage of somebody that has something going on wrong with her. So apparently they were, you know, even her. Well, I I can't give this guy too much credit, but her ex husband too is coming out in in uh, the news and saying, you know, saying that her the show the production of her show when she was on it or had the show um, didn't support uh, getting her help because he as he say as he's saying, that they just want her to continue to keep going, like keep working. This is what he's saying. So I don't know. Nobody has come out yet on the production Somebody side. Said cocaine is wrong with her. Well, no, and, 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 and believe me, there's a lot of things that I disagree on that she used to speak on on her show a lot. But at the same time, as a person, I don't know. I can't. Sam you know, V. Young Goose, thanks for the $20. I kind of feel bad for her. but um, I don't feel bad in that sense. I've been known Wendy Williams is crazy. All you got to do, look at her with that fake faint on her show that she wanted some attention. That was it. I was like, that ain't And actually, interesting you brought that up because that was the point 
that her ex-husband was saying that she was already, I guess, needing some help with a uh, substance. And she's never been one to hold back on her past. Cause you know, she did say that, yeah, she used to be an addict. So she used said- Used to be an addict. Well, it happened again. She re relapsed. That's what her brother's saying that obviously her, you know, something's happening. You see anyway. that video where she was out the, out the window as she was talking? No, I didn't see that one, but I saw that, this one. But apparently she's speaking on this so-called podcast. And the only reason I say it like that is because they say that she doesn't have one locked in yet. So she's maybe, I don't know, she's putting it out there where she can get one. But this guy, Will Shelby, is now her manager. He used to be her jeweler. He used to be the jeweler. Yeah. Now he the manager. Yeah, now she, but, but I mean, she's out there talking like this. She was slurring. It was bad. I mean, it's online he right now. He was more than a jeweler if he a manager now. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I mean, like I said, I don't condone a lot of the stuff she would talk about on her show. Uh, but She talked about everybody on her show. I know that, but I'm saying a lot of the stuff I just didn't. Sure, she did. I know she did, and I didn't agree with that. And I definitely the biggest thing I didn't like that she used to do, that was just to me was awful, was that she used to uh, promote when uh, people would break up, and she'd say, "Well, did she, did, did she should have had a baby by him so she could get money?" You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she fucked up. She should have. She should have got knocked up by this dude so that she can get money you know, for a baby. I'm like, ooh, that is not good. So you don't even care about throwing a life out there. Just have a kid so a girl can get paid. I used to, ooh, I used to just couldn't stand that. Wendy Williams was given a show because she's a bad representation of black women. Now Charlemagne, the one the other do you hand. Think her, do you think Oprah is a good representation of black women? I mean, come on. They get those people's shows because that's what they want out there. Uh, the housewives, all these raggedy whores are the ones that are put before the children. Uh, yeah, well. That's why Wendy Williams had a show. Well, yeah, well Charlemagne, Charlemagne on the other hand, and that mind you, they had they weren't speaking for a couple of years, but he did say that they made up a couple of years ago, and they asked him his take on on everything on her, and he's actually, you know, he 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 hopes that you know she gets some some help, and then they asked him, of course, do you think she's gonna make a comeback or return or whatever? And he just said, you know, he wishes her well. You know, nothing but the best, but. She got on the wrong Caucasian person's nerve. And, um, you know what I'm saying? They, they basically, it seemed like they are ousting her out of the game. It's a possibility, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gonna get them in a second. We gonna get them in a second, in yeah. a second. Love, baby. Anyway, so I mean, just Got State's Witness in the house. Just as a- It ain't um, over, motherfucker. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> so that- They said give Mark some tequila. <laughs> uh, oh Make God. sure they get set up over there, <laughs> goddammit. So I don't know, I mean, like I say, I don't know. I, I, I can't wish anybody, you know, bad things or whatever. I, I wish her well, that's all. That's what's up. Anyway, Donald Good Trump- Good luck, Wendy, with your big foot ass. <laughs> Stop. Donald Trump, uh, he uh, went viral quick last week um, when he gave an interview and they asked him about uh, Brittany Griner and he did not mince words. Um, he said, uh, the terrible thing is many were previously, uh, oh, here we go. He said, um, it all started because they brought up the Biden trade. There's a possible trade that Biden's trying to make happen. And that would, that would be for Brittany Griner and a, and a U.S. Marine named Paul Wellen um, to exchange for a guy named Victor Bout, a convicted Russian arms trafficker. Trump called her a spoiled person who went to Russia loaded up with drugs, which is of course an exaggeration of her vape that had some hashish oil in it. Um, he did say that um, Trump said she knew that you don't go there loaded up with drugs. He kept saying loaded up with drugs like over and over again. And he did say, she admitted it. Um, also, he, it's, he said, it doesn't seem like a very good trade, does it? He's absolutely, now this is funny, Trump calling this guy. He's absolutely one of the worst in the world is what he calls this arms guy. And he's gonna be given his freedom because of a potentially spoiled person. He's calling Brittany. Uh, he added that they don't like drugs over there and she got caught and now we're supposed to get her out and she makes, you know, this is how he said it, you know, a lot of money, I guess. Um, anyway, he said, we're supposed to get her out for an absolute killer and one of the biggest arms dealers in the world who killed many Americans and many people. 
Um, again, at this time, she's going through the trial over there, and she could end up with 10 years. But what's interesting about this whole thing, about Trump saying all this, a lot of people were saying before this interview with him, oh, if Trump was still in office, he would have got her out like that. That's funny, because he's like going, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so. Well, Trump is not rooting for Brittany Griner to come home. Mm -mm. And, um, you know, Trump, that's his homeboy, uh, allegedly. I mean, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, they've been seen together, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who you seen with me, something? That's you got to stand on it when you that's get. That's true. Like, if you with somebody, hey, yeah, I was with him. Yeah, that's it. That's so true. this man right. got that girl over there on some shit that was in a little vape bottle. And that girl been away from her people for so long. I'm saying, like, if you think about that, okay, let's say she got caught. She wasn't, She didn't have no whole bunch of drugs. What she thought she could do probably was sneak over there with her little hit and quit, but they was on her. Right. It wasn't like she was, like, trying to sell something. She won something championships right. out there with their basketball teams Poor and them. shit. Mm -hmm. She probably didn't see that coming. No, I don't but think But when so. it first happened, if you remember what I said, I'm telling you. Yeah. Everybody, when you get on them airplanes, especially in other countries, they want a reason to motherfucking inconvenience you. Mm. That's true. Hell yeah. Last thing, um, you know how we sometimes bring up like this uh, fashion when they just put out something doesn't make any sense and they sell it for an astronomical amount. And it's like, what? And yet people want to buy it just because they want to floss and show people, look, I got this. This has gone over the ridiculous edge. So. What is it, D? We want to see. Because people, everybody who got money, <laughs> you floss your money. You okay. used to have a Range Rover, right? Yeah, but okay. This is what we do. Yeah. When we get money, oh we fuck it off. Because if you can't get no more, you fucked anyway. If she talking about who I thought that, what I think you talking about then. Let she... me tell you, yeah, let me just tell you. I think I sent you the picture, Nail. If not, you could look it up. This is ridiculous. Balenciaga has now released or unveiled its first high-end trash bag. It's just like a regular trash bag, but it's got their insignia and stuff on it. And guess how much it goes for? What? $17.90. What's seventeen ninety? One thousand seven hundred ninety dollars. And it's a trash bag. Mm -hmm. That mind me of this girl I fuck who overcharged me. <laughs> wow. She was trash like a motherfucker. <laughs> but I paid it because I had to catch a flight and I didn't feel like negotiating. Oh my god! A trash bag, pussy ass. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, you bitch. Don't call an ass when I talk about you. You know it's you. And yet there'll be Pussy somebody trash out there. Like a and motherfucker. Be, it's a Campbell soup. These are trash bags right here. And yet there, there'll be somebody out there that'll buy them. That should be and like Corey. Even Ikea made a, a, a comment about it saying, wow, they just went ahead and replicated our blue bag and everything. Everybody's making fun of But the, the, <laughs> the designer for Balenciaga actually said, I couldn't miss an opportunity to make the most expensive trash bag in the world. So some, Well, you the shit people so will buy your bag. Buy, oh, my God. Please tell me you're not going to get one, Corey. I don't think I want it, but I'm just saying. You think they ain't gonna sell them? What bags? is it made out of? It's made out of that shit your hat made out of. <laughs> Stop. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, at least Supreme when they made that brick, because Supreme, who I love, by the way, they made a brick. It was on, it was thirty dollars, but still, it was a brick. A real brick, though. Yeah, that said Supreme on it. That yeah. was bread. Yeah, that we I can see. That, I, that I'd love shit. to put like on a desk or something. That's fine. But this. Come on, now. Need... come on now. Anyway, um, also rest in peace. Oh man, a few people. Bill Russell, NBA Hall of Famer who played for Boston Celtics, held 11 championship titles. Eight of those were in a row. Incredible. He was 88. Mary Alice Tony, if you don't know her, she's an Emmy Award winning actress in plenty of films. Last one that people um, can look her up in was Fences. Um, she was in that. Um, and What's Shell she doing Fences? I think she played Viola's mom. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, yeah, yeah. What's her name? Uh, Mary Alice Tony. I mean, Mary Alice. She won a Tony and an Emmy Award. Um, it's bad when you get old and you pass on, 
Because, you know what I'm saying? They did live good, full lives. I'm it's, sorry a shame, it's a shame we get old. When also, you... Nichelle Nichols. Sorry. Nichelle, Nichelle Nichols. Nichols. Who's that? Most known for her role as Lieutenant Uhura. On what? On Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. She was a bad bitch. Uh-huh. I mean, no disrespect. When I'm not saying, like, bitch disrespectfully. Bad that woman. was a very attractive woman. She was 89 when she passed. Rest in peace. Yeah, she was. That's back when they just didn't want nobody on. ugly on TV like that. They let her be on there. They go Brother Bill. She represented for sure, yeah. Oh, okay, and I know Brother we're in Bill. a hurry because we have guests that got here and I don't want to take any more I thought here. you was going to talk about that preacher who was showing the closet. Again, no, yeah. no. But, um, but no, because I'm saving some space to some time. Okay. Uh, word of the week, can I fit it in there? Actually, it's kind of, it's so fitting and I had no idea what we were going to be de- dealing with today. KY. No, word of the week is pugnacious. I've heard that what word does that mean? Before. Inclined to quarrel readily or often. Hmm. Oh. Inclined to that quarrel. You. Corey yeah, right. Boy, you better <laughs> throw it on. <laughs> your boy, your boy always got you pulling motherfuckers up off him. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Anyway, you can't right. say the twinkle turtle, nigga. The twinkle turtle. I know we have guests. Speaking now. of the twinkle turtle, we gonna end the show with a. This is literally a bang. <laughs> yeah, All right, Ryan, sit down. I know you watch. Just have a seat. We don't want you to have a heart attack. I saw you out there in motherfucking Carolina this week, boy. God damn, you got bigger, nigga. You already ugly. You can't be ugly and fat. You got to pick one. Pick one, nigga. I want to have a friend of mine come on the show and this might seem like I'm starting shit, but I'm not starting shit. He's a comedian as well, and we finna laugh at the facts of the motherfucking matter because I want him to come on the 5150 and give his version. This is one of the greatest moving companies in Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Some people say, man, I ain't ready to move. I got too much shit. Not when this motherfucker make you move. This motherfucker make you move from L.A. to North Carolina within a, a week and say, I'm taking care of my little turtles. But look, we got to get him mic'd up and shit. Is he mic'd up? I got to go to the restaurant. D got to pee. You going to come back, D? Of course. Okay, we waiting on I you. I think I got to pee, too. No, don't wait on me. Marcus got to pee, too. <laughs> We no, we good. God damn it. We gonna do this shit. We finna do this shit. Y- y'all gotta give the lavalier mic. Get my nigga ready to come up here and give testimony on the truth, god damn it, of what really happened that night. I feel like he deserves for people to hear what he got to say. Ladies and gentlemen, my good brother representing Baltimore, Reggie. Carol, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Have you. a seat, Reggie. Come on, <laughs> sit down, <laughs> goddamn. Yeah. 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 Tell he you got on the mic. Get that nigga. Get that nigga on the mic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get that nigga on the mic, dog. Get that. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, well, that's all that. That's all that. I'm here. Shit, fuck up. Hey, Corey, because I'm here, y'all. I'm bad luck in the motherfucker. I just broke three cameras already. Hey, yo, hey, hey. Who great truck I ran into? Great truck? Nigga, I did a donut in your parking lot. My bad. Nigga, you stupid. He probably for real. I'm joking. Anyway. Okay. A lot of people are saying who? Oh. Okay, but everybody don't what know. What but everybody what finna what know. This brother right here is somebody who I, I would consider a very, very close associate. We, 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 we been knowing each other a long time. A dog. long time, yo. Laughing Palooza in Atlanta. Over 20 years ago. Over 20 years ago, yo. Over 20 years ago. I was ago. in the audience when you choked that bull dyke. They uh, had to hold me back. Hey, Nick, look, let me tell you something. This my, motherfucker my right here, this is the nigga <laughs> that, um, I'll just put it like this. He has a unique take on what happened that night that I believe caused 
Um, Ryan to move out of town. Uh, but Reggie. Yeah, look, oh yeah, since we here. Don't sugarcoat nothing. Hey, come on, Be man. you, baby. I got you here. Yo, listen, Be I you. I never gave anybody diabetes. No sugar on this shit. That's what's up. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Ain't no use that talk. You, ain't, you, know, you know I like tall bitches. Well, I have tell you. All it shall start. Six, five. Yeah, yeah. Well, you look Asian, like too. Hey. Hey, hey, I learned how to walk when I was five. I was I crawling because my dick. I had three legs. I'm oh, just I'm fucking with you. Know, I'm Don't stop. Easy. This is my nigga Reggie. Easy. But um, Reggie, we no, cause that's a woman. Right. That's a woman. You know how we in. We men. We gonna shoot it at women. That's so, what we do. Me and Mark is what we hang out, right? We hang yeah, out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I see you, we shake hands, right? Yeah. That 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 you, your hands feel like brillo pad, just like mine. Look, you see, see me punking them. Right. You know Don't never let nobody put your hand up. That's that's real shit. So this my nigga. When I was fucked up, y'all was there for me, right? So boom. <laughs> Mark, we hang out. We at that party. Afterwards, we eat. We call each other. I'm come see you. Boom, boom, boom. I walk in. I'm me. You know I'm me. Mm -hmm. That bitch ass nigga Ryan, Rand Day, whatever. He's sitting there. He sleep. I'm boom, boom, boom. I don't know who the fuck he is. Honestly, yo. Boom. He was sleep at the party. Nigga, this no, nigga was the, sleep was on the grand slam. Dennis, I think it was Dennis. He had his dinner and everything. Wasn't he? He had about four or five fucking plates. This fat cock eyed motherfucker eat. I'm mad at him, right? But I'm, you know what I mean? But I'm still cool with him. <laughs> Not really. I do this. So, <laughs> when I walk in, <laughs> nah, when I walk in, we slap hand. I, he's snoring like, <laughs> he got sleep acne. So I had, <laughs> and he down, I said, yo, who, I looked at you, who the fuck snoring? He looked at me, man, fuck you. I looked at you like, oh, who this boy before I slapped the living shit out of him? Yo, come on. But I didn't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? I said, yo, Marcus, yo, talk to your man, yo. Do something about this before I do something about it. Is this true, Marcus? Did this happen? Yeah, but I, yeah. But listen, I, I'm thrown off. Now, this is why I'm thrown off. It's a six, five ugly bitch. Who is the big bitch? With the big ass calves that look like koi bottom half and shit. <laughs> and my legs is bigger than yours, bro, bro. Yo, big ass legs. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. That's why you laughing. They then say the Minnie, ugly Minnie bitch. Dizel it was a bitch blacker than this table. She looked like that Martian off of Disney. I shoot you with my B224 Martian oh, Taser. Mm -hmm. And then it was the transvestite. Which that one was it? Boy. Pink fuck. Yeah, the Pink. faggy boy. The this nigga hands was this big with five fingers. Looked like he had two. Sis, and he was eating that hand over hand. You know one of the I know Pink yeah. Fox. I like Pink Fox. Pink Fox is different though, cause he a nigga who dressed like a girl. Yeah, y'all, y'all did. And yeah. when we first met, he's yeah. a nigga that dressed like a girl. That means he's a transvestite. I told you he followed me in the bathroom. Tell him what what happened. We was at that club. He did what in the bathroom? Nigga, where my well, girl? You, you, the nigga, you, the, the, the you, tranny, you, because I was with y'all. And I didn't slap the shit out of Ryan that night in, in, in a trans with y'all, so they thought I was like hanging with y'all. He followed me. No, you see wait, me choke slam that But let me make sure I get it right. So when you went to the bathroom, a nigga followed you in the bathroom because he thought it was sweet. Am I right? Yes. I'm not trying to start no shit. Yes. I'm just saying. The nigga that was this um, what happened. That they had Ryan Davis sandwiches and shit at the Witchman Con. <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> That nigga, I told you to check them. So we had to do this. So then the third time when we come in there, then we at the comedy club now. Now this is the one that happened at the comedy club. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I the, wasn't there. Tranny, him, her, without, none of y'all was there. Please tell what happened at the comedy club, Reggie. I want you to get your story off, man. <clears throat> so because of Marcus, Marcus said, don't, don't rack up. This is my brother. You know what I'm saying? I respect him, so whoever he bring around me, I'm going to respect him. But you only get one time. So the boy did that shit to me again, y'all. What'd he do? When I went in there, shook hands, he said, fuck you. And then when he seen I'm not that nigga, he tried to turn. But everybody that was around was supposed to protect him, split like the sea. That's when I decided not to bully him. 
Because I see you's a bitch. You scared. I know you gay. I don't, uh, you Are you saying, saying Ryan said fuck you up he in the comedy club? He said fuck me because he thought that um some niggas like he, he thought he they thought was you going, was playing with him. Yeah, no, he thought I was somebody else. He thought I can play or bitch. He thought he could. Play uh, that's with what me. I'm saying. He thought he could he talk to you like he that. Could, he thought he could talk to me like that because somebody ain't check that bitch. Because somebody ain't check him. Hey, it, the thing is, he ain't no Reggie good enough to. Play with Reggie. He don't know Reggie. Don't be playing with folks that he don't know. Like that's one of them moments. I don't know him yeah. from Adam. Right. It's no, no, like no. her. It's like me coming here. This is my first time meeting. This is beautiful. Hey, how you doing? She said, "Man, fuck you. Eat my pussy." Whoa, just like that. Just like that. Right. Then I'ma tell Coy, check, check her, yo. Right. But I'ma expect Coy like, girl, you should, boom, boom. I'm not supposed to see you again, and you like, man, I'll lick my ass and my toes. So right. I'm like, yo, I'm so, whipping his uh, ass. Let me make sure eating. everybody understand what's happening. Yeah, so good. at the lab factory, dude was playing with you in a way where you feel like. He, he was doing that be gay playing shit. with you like that. Shorty, he was doing that gay shit. He was this doing is what I'm saying to you, to Reg. Me. Listen to this real Little shit. Little men say gay shit meaning like, not as you, you sucking dick, but I understand you the streets. Gay... Certain motherfuckers, you not for the play with them like I'm that. I'm in these streets like the yellow lines. That's but what I'm, I'm saying. But I'm a businessman, though. But look, Reg, this is what I'm saying to you. Before you got here, I was making this point. Mm. Listen to this. Listen to this. Motherfuckers play with me like that. Because I be kind to the niggas that I know I should be checking. So what I'm saying to you is I understand your point in a way. Because that motherfucker ain't finna play with you like that no more. Not no more. He'll rather go on. He'll use his fame to talk about me because I'm kind. But he ain't finna talk about the motherfucker that was finna super sock his ass for playing with him. This the point I was trying to make. Right. That's why I brought you here, because I wanted motherfuckers to see. And I wasn't picking on him. I had nothing. I'm, I'm here to see had that no We, we party. We party. I, look, look, Marlon, I know you eating off of him. You eating off. I don't, nigga, I'm worth something. Now, so, I didn't coach him into I, saying that. Okay. I didn't coach Reggie into saying that. We both said the same thing. You fuck with the nigga because the nigga, that's your lick right now. That's your lick. So that's why you fuck with a nigga like that. That's this. why I didn't do nothing to him the first time. You my brother. So I told you, yo, handle that, y'all. Don't make me get disrespected. Yeah, come on, because I got a rep, and that should have looked sloppy. Mm. But I respect you. Yeah, because you can't say something to me. First then time. how many times I tell you how many other... Come on, yo. So you told Marcus to let I him know. It ain't no joke. So look, we finally got the other point of view. Nobody said that. They just act like Reggie was acting crazy and motherfucking did his shit. That's why I got and you on the show. And that transvestite, he like men. You was dead when I choke slammed him, right? In the club. I, I see that was y'all. Man, you you, you, you saw was, that. Y'all was you saw that. I didn't, I didn't see what, the, what happened. Who I love I in the club? Y'all. You. He followed you in there because y'all boys, because Ryan liked that shit, and you wanted him. I can't make this shit up. Everybody want to act like I'm lying. This man ain't lying. lying. What the fuck he going to laugh for? And it was, yo, it was a few of them, man, yo. Them boys dressed like that, but I had nothing against them. It's like we men. We don't do that for no clout. I don't clout chase, yo. I asked my brother I want to be on here with him because I fucks with him, yo. And I didn't have you on here for no motherfucking sucker shit. To come on here and do no sucker shit. I'm I just know. Like I'm in child support court. Yeah, you got a skull cap yeah. on in this motherfucking uh, beginning of August. But look, my nigga, I wanted hey, people. I, I, I wanted know. people to hear the other side of the story because all I heard was, "Oh, you know Reggie. That motherfucker was doing some shit that had to get checked. That's the only reason you checked them, right? You, the motherfuckers, they was in violation." Let me tell you something, man. I want to say this shit. In total violation. If you a man and you dress like Don't a lady. Don't let nobody flirt with you. You can't play with the motherfucking streets for real. The streets don't like when motherfuckers who dress like a lady and you a man. Just yeah. like there's certain motherfuckers who want you to address them as a lady. That's how far the shit is gone. Yeah. Niggas who dress like bitches want you to call them a lady. Homie, everybody don't do that. Now, I ain't going to lie. I'm lenient. I'm kind. I don't even like how kind, how kind <laughs> I am. 
Sometimes I wish I was like my homie right here because you check that shit in a way really? where motherfuckers ain't gonna do it no more, and if they do, they got to go to war with you. You got to. That's really how it's supposed to be. It's certain countries out here on the motherfucking Betty Boy side of the game. Them motherfuckers don't be. They they do things to them boys. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They do things to them boys. Out of respect so, or disrespect. It, oh, it, it yeah. ain't like you going to just jump down somebody's throat or whatever. If I say, like, okay, this is who I am. I respect who you are, and I got respect for you. But then you're like, all right, fuck what you do. I still, yeah, and they start disrespecting me as a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You say you want to be called the woman. You was born like that. I call you a woman. It's that. Stop flirting with me, though, y'all. I'm a man. I like her. I want her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like this. This is the honesty of Reggie. That's, I don't that's the want, same yeah, I'm, Now I'm just saying, as a woman, I'm not flirting with you. You know my girl here too. But I'm just want to like make that point that I'm not. So that's why I was saying, this, even this is, like yeah, even like like you know when we was out like that 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 boy shit like when we went to to the club. That's the know? same motherfucker that used to be outside the improv. We out there roasting and shit. We and, and so, I yeah. used to roast with him. Like but shit. you know what? People when, use them angles to get in. We talk about the brother. I spot them angles. Y'all we talk about the, the brother Pink Fox. I don't have nothing against. Pink, Pink Fox, but when I first he met him, me it didn't around. work out the way he thought it was going to work out because he, the brother wanted me to address him as if he was a girl. I think, right. But then we got that straight. I mean, do you know how many motherfucking niggas who dress like women that be mad at me because I won't address them as girl? I be like, uh, <laughs> sir, look here, bro. You know what hey, I'm saying? And they be more. mad. And I be like, hey, man, I'm not going to call you no girl, man. I'm not gonna play that imaginary game. But okay. it don't mean I hate you, but you must yeah. be, you must understand, I'm not one who's about to fold into your game. You a dude going through whatever you're going through while you hanging with Ryan. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, y'all making each other sandwiches and shit. That's what I'm saying. Leaning over hand, man, licking each other's fingers. Polishing each other's nails and yeah. shit. Oh, licking each other's fingers. <laughs> looking down each other. I left her, man. I just got my attention, man. Why? After the that shit he did, hell, man. anything went down. I don't know. Niggas eat, they I eat dark herbs together. <laughs> I'm glad you weren't sitting at that table. I'm, like I said, I will always clear your, your, your name. Y'all, you, y'all knew there was some ugly bitches and you knew that was a dude dressed with the big titties, the lipstick, and all that shit. And you, 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 you remember, right? Do you remember the night? Do you remember about, why I, was, I had the buck on him? No, he, I know what you're talking he about. He followed me to the back. Y'all first, y'all followed me in the club. I had clout there. You remember ranking? So boom, I will get you. But I seen the tranny. I'm like, nah, they not with me. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all, and you didn't get in that night because you was with them faggots. <laughs> Somebody Ryan said Marcus. And, Marcus so was Ryan hanging with them too. But he Marcus, you talking about the night he had a table? Did he have a table? It was my club, so why would I? I don't know. I don't know him. You know he, I don't know him. Boy, he had a table that night. You got a tool with Pink Fox. With Pink Fox that followed me around in the club. Who had the table? Pink Ryan Fox. Ryan had the table. Ryan had the table. Ryan had the table. Yeah. Wait, let me make sure he had the table with him and Pink Fox. Yeah. Yeah. This what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. Talking about. This what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. Talking about. Talking about. Talking talking about. about. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? All y'all was in there because I had my own table. It was Ryan's table, and he had Pink Fox. He came over to the table. Yeah. Who came to the table? Pink Fox came up. No, he was with him. You act like Pink yeah, Fox. Pink hey. Fox just showed up and it was a nah. thing where they had, they was, was all together. He was with y'all. Y'all gonna make y'all just like this story. week, Marcus. You was, I was with there, Marcus. Ryan with the dude who don't dress there. like a transvestite. I was there, Marcus. But he Listen, get with him. I was there at Denny's when that nigga did that bullshit. When I did, and, and I'm gonna read you every time you're right. Every time you're right. When that faggy did, when that transvestite did, I mean, <laughs> I, it, it just threw my my mind. At so the time. let me get this right, Marcus. You had a table with Ryan. I didn't have a table. Ryan Fox. had a table. Pink but you were sitting at the section. You were sitting at the table with them, right? Man, I don't go around the club. I don't around the club dancing, nigga. Big you know, don't play with me, man. I only mustache. like sections like that. Come on, y'all. Don't, like, don't play with me like that. He's got a towel full of shit, Dawson. You don't play with me like that. And then, nigga, he went out in the room. Why was I Why was I not over? Why was I not over there when y'all got into it? Because I was over in the club doing what? Marcus. Get no bitches like right. I always do. Marcus. I don't right. like sections. Listen, I Marcus. I don't be in the club on, on, on sections. Marcus, I don't Yo. question your manhood at all. At all. Not question I ain't never, I told you I that don't think day you one. like boys. Stop letting them bitches but, ass niggas surround you. To get on, you'll hang with them motherfuckers who dress <laughs> like goddamn. You'll be with them. 
You would be like, hey, I'm working. <laughs> no. <dude. laughs> I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm at work, hey. son. I'm from Arkansas. I ain't never home. We don't do no fifth. I ain't never home with them solo. I ain't never home with people by solo, nigga. Don't do me like that. But who had wrong with them solo? Who did That ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't never home with people talking about solo, though, nigga. Don't do me like that. And I'd have been invited, nigga. I'm like, nah. Because Ryan. Do we text you? No. No. No, we not text me. So he texted Ryan. No. That's what the fuck we trying to say. Wait. Him and Ryan. He did it But you gotta understand, that nigga had a brother, bro. He had a brother that was gay. Why are you talking about his brother? So Ryan brother ain't never did nothing. Hold on, Ryan. I got a brother that's a gangster. So I say I'm a gangster, so they think I'm a gangster. Right. So, Wait, I'm, I want to say this. Shit, I'm, they don't think you I'm gonna say yeah, Ryan's bro. brother Ryan. ain't never done nothing but represented himself 100 in front of me and anybody else. Anybody. Ryan's brother anybody. is who he, he is and don't him. care. Who care about what he is? <laughs> we joking with Ryan about it because Ryan don't want to admit his asshole <laughs> is a 50 cent piece. Right. <laughs> he got a tailpipe hanging out of his ass, no, and don't even feel it. He but got he a wanna... side street. <laughs> <laughs> he been up in his shit. <laughs> okay. So long as my nigga got okay. a chance to tell his truth about what happened, you can all decide what you want to decide. But tables with niggas, Mike, is this okay to sit with your friends? Yes. It is. As long as he got a more like or, or, or high and tight. When I see Pink Fox, me and Pink Fox, I talk to Pink Fox. Pink Fox is cool because we got yeah, we got we roast. the part where he had to understand who I yeah. am. And I understand who he is. Yo, I respect, Pink Fox I respect thought I was her a troll. That's, 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 that man, them niggas niggas younger than me. The I show them niggas respect whatever they going through. Pink Fox will tell you that he fuck bitch. He like niggas and bitches. That's what Yo, he this said. Is, yeah, right. All right, boom. So, that's, so, so that's, 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 that's what he, he said. That's what he said. He I said, heard him talking he to you about that. that. I was ear hustling. He wasn't talking to me because I don't talk to him. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I was that. there that day when he said, when he told me <laughs> shit. <laughs> he said, yeah, look at these titties, this lipstick in my eyebrows, and I fucked yeah, bitches. He ain't saying that nigga. I thought it was Sean Tay Wayne. Y'all probably seen him. From a, this is y'all talking, oh, I try to walk off, and he said, I'm a comedian. <laughs> hey, yo, this nigga had your nigga did it. Well, he <laughs> say he fuck bitches, I ain't got nothing to do with that. He say that outside improv, so. So he a bull die. Huh? I guess. <laughs> I guess. But, but he say he fuck bitches, though. Grown he can't and, no we, and, and we all, all sat there and signify with him, so that ain't, I don't, that ain't yeah, got nothing to do with that. We all signify. We be uh, out there talking crazy. You don't signify, though. But Reggie, you, you be I ain't gonna lie. You be out there uh, <laughs> you know, looking at niggas like, right. when we all be, when we all be signifying this Reggie off to the side. Trying to find out who he don't like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he get to licking them lips. That nigga getting fired up over there. When that nigga, once he start licking his lips, I'll be like, Red. Cool out, nigga. <laughs> cool your <laughs> ass out, nigga. Don't start no shit. When well, that nigga, you know that shit there. He just did it right there. He licked that lip. When he licked that lip, he gets fired up. He do that. <laughs> Cause yo, it be some sloppy coons, you know what I'm saying? Some wild coons, like back in Baltimore, we call niggas dummies. Fried coons and wild coons, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. coons. Now the coon can't fight, and he know it. A wild coon think he can fight, but he can't fight. So when we be sitting there and I be seeing y'all joking motherfuckers, then they be like, ah, let me go ahead and take a stab at Marcus. Then I be like, no, Marcus will probably backhand slap the shit these niggas do a flip. So that's when I'm like sitting there and I'm like, all right, I know Koi going to zone on him. You know what I mean? So then I just sit back because I, I do physical comedy. I do you do other things physically shit. too, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What? No, I'm saying that's my nigga. God damn it. I, I know how he is. I respect how he is. I done risked my life fucking grabbing this motherfucking crazy motherfucker. Because once but he I get fired you. up, it's over. But we know each other enough where I be like, nigga, yeah. come with me, I nigga. Listen. I listen. Because I respect you as a man. We always had them conversations, whether if I was up here or down here, in any any aspect of it. I'm like, yo, Coy's over there. What the fuck? Yo, do people think I'm crazy? You said, like that glue. Boy, they think you crazy like that glue. But That's what's up. Well, <laughs> D looking at her phone, that means she ready to go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I'm fucking with you, D. Yeah, I was going to say, come on. Listen, Listen y'all. We're going we to wrap, wrap the show up, but I'm just saying, man. It, everybody, I, I'm glad that 
my brother Reggie got a chance to speak his point of view because now people have a, another idea of what happened that night. Nobody ever says that part of what happened. When you told me that, I was like, nobody know that. They just act like you yeah. just motherfucking loco. Right. That, that's, that's the that's, rep you that's get. That's the aspect, yeah. And I'm like, nah, I ain't like that. Yeah. And then, you know what scared people? How funny I am on stage. I'm like, yo, I do this shit directly, but it's like a lot of promoters be like, yo, can you calm that down? We don't need you to talk. I say, yo, but they dying laughing. Don't ever stop being who you are. That's why I tell you. Don't be y'all. like, see, the motherfucker uh, Ryan went on, went on uh, Sway Show and was like, I wish he would stop doing it like that. Tell him you don't ever let nobody tell you, right. Don't ever let nobody tell you how to be the comedian you are. Don't let nobody regulate what come out your mouth. This is your story. This is your, your world. Story, your you got to do it like you got to do. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this week, I'm on my way to St. Louis. We already know uh, things looking no, good at the show. Point. Look, mm-hmm. I heard St. Louis had a flood. I, ain't <laughs> I heard St. Louis had a flood. So I, I just want to say to everybody Down in St. There? Louis, yeah, St. Louis flooded. Wow. That's the new thing. These cities that ain't never flooded before are flooded. Vegas yeah. had a flood. For real? They hustling, dog. Mm. People in charge of the game hustling. Yeah. I ain't no that, good man. That I'm machine. Baby! What up? Hey, hey, hey. These, these, people like char- the <laughs> these people in charge of the game hustling, yeah, man. man. They know why are these where these floods coming from all of a sudden in these major cities? These power outages and all this shit. Dog, the bullshit coming, dog. They about to charge you ten dollars a pound for chicken. Right. They and about, they about to rob your ass. Trust me. If you ain't got your paper on, goddammit, you better motherfucking hang out with motherfucking. <laughs> hang out with Morgan <laughs> and Ryan Davis. Right. And what's the other dude name? Blue Fox? Pink Fox? Pink Fox. That's Pink Fox. Yeah, That's right. that. I never knew his name. See, that, I'm, I'm glad because you, you never introduced me to him. You let him float around. Marcus was embarrassed about that motherfucker. You were. You let him float around. I'm like, yo, who's who, who, who your shit? Who's your shit? Like who's your shit? Who's your shit? It ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Y'all be trying. No, 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 it's all good, homie. We can signify. We can joke. Because like I say, right. I'm kind. You kind. I'm kind. You kind. I'm not joking with them trains. Right. <laughs> everybody has to play with. So. We go, we go to the karaoke after. All, everybody go to the karaoke Oh, y'all after. saying karaoke? You go to the karaoke after sometime. Yo, I invited you. That's the same spot. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, everybody go to the Listen, everybody go to the carry. He don't walk in the door with them walk. people. No, no, I do. I walk in by myself. I said that was Marcus. The trainer came in. I said I don't know who he is. That's the same <laughs> night I told you I left you out there. I'm being a man right now. I, I, I left you on I purpose, and I'm telling you I did that because <laughs> the trainer was with you. Then y'all got in when Ryan bought the table. That's when I choked slam the trainer. Pink Fox on that goofy shit, then that's when that's why Ryan is mad at me because I hit his boyfriend. I hit his girl. That's why he rolled his eyes and you had to check him. Yeah, on that shit. This what I'm trying to tell you, man. It was all of that. Stop connecting me with this. No, you don't connect it. Got nothing to do with you. Connect it with it, look, roll up your people. Stop that shit, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, you was with him this weekend and he was bragging on it. Yeah, but I ain't got this. Y'all, y'all don't like the lines. Y'all trying to, y'all trying to blur lines. Okay, hold on, Marcus. Let me tell you. So maybe you don't know this. I was if dead, you Marcus, with I them, nigga, life. you with them. Stand yes. on it. That's all I'm doing. Don't act like they ain't your peoples. Yeah, them your peoples, I nigga. Fight, so I can <laughs> <separate>. <laughs> you ain't gonna you get say you started a fight to separate <laughs> yourself. <laughs> I'm nigga, straight. Fly. I'm now straight. we can be cool. No. <laughs> I'm straight. Marcus, motherfucker, acting like I'm putting you on the spot. Nigga, I'm going to tell you flat out. If you be with them people. You can get your money with us, y'all. You ain't got to jump in your people, ball, man. <laughs> Don't denounce your people, Marcus. Oh, yeah. But that your folks, though. Yo, you cool? You spoke up for them? That's why I ain't smacking the first time. Because they were your folks. <laughs> you remember. Marcus mad. Marcus mad because we telling everybody you be with them people. Homie, I ain't trying to bust hey, you out. I love you. But you be with them people, man. Pink Fox was his name. I just found that shit out tonight, yo. I, mean, I fought the nigga in that thing, yo. 
Yo, he was a strong old faggy though, yo. I, it ain't like I, I, I he was strong though, though, right? Hey, yo, he, he, he did a few. He was like, I had to go yeah. Like, yeah. yeah he, he did the pink sissy yeah. shit. Yeah. One more time so they got the sound. Yeah. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers. I'm part of this man. <laughs> What I can say that be bad about. I'm tell you, watch your back, yo, because live motherfuckers gonna start trying. Then how many times we had? Look, I had flame. I had I had flame on the show. I stand on it. Flame from Chicago. Flame is mother. Flame Flame don't like uh uh fruit booty niggas. He don't. Flame told me don't have me on the show with that motherfucker. Uh, he said, Flames, don't have me on the show with them gay motherfuckers. Flames is hilarious. Flames is different. Flames, <laughs> stand on it. God damn it. And he stand on it. He, he got them hands on. if you sleep on them. I if you sleep on them, he got them hands. I done tried it. I would. Well, Nigga, you had a table with Pink Fox and Ryan. I had a goddamn table, man. I said I was in the club, man. You sat at the <laughs> table with them niggas. I niggas in the club, man. And you had on flip flop. And y'all had Fuck Rose Day Mimosas. No, no, no. The ain't man was Pink. I was in the goddamn club, man. <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. We go to, to, we go to the karaoke every goddamn week, and you know that shit. Who is we? Not your big... I don't what? go to that shit. Bull dog but I ain't knocking nobody got you go to shit. Of him. Remember, I said, that's I'm Coy, little brother. Uh, <laughs> see right now you trolling me. You trolling me right now. I'm trolling him yeah, now. Yeah, you see you now you're trolling me. I'm I truthing you. No, I'm truthing you. I'm I got a witness right here. You be with them boys. No, the fuck I don't. <laughs> you be with them boys. What? No, you with two of them. Ryan the boys. It's almost Ryan and Pink Fox. I ain't know the nigga name though. I almost got this. I, hey, I, yo, I almost had bail money because of them niggas, yo. <laughs> 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 I was supposed to zone. I was supposed to zone. Oh, shit. All right. So, I know Marcus, man. I'm sorry. He's mad as shit, yo. But it's the call the truth, bro. Them your peoples, what? man. You can't. You can't be with somebody. Who ain't your homeboy? Nigga, I ain't never said Who ain't your homeboy? I said, you ain't my homeboy. I never said you ain't my homeboy. He ain't never tried to flirt with you. Hell no, he ain't trying to flirt with me, nigga. He ain't never tried to flirt with you. Fuck y'all, man. He ain't never roll that dead eye hey, head. I'm like, y'all. <laughs> he got a strong handshake. No. Go on, no. no, man. See, the thing about Ryan, he only know how to take dick one way. Go on, no, man. <laughs> yeah, baby, I got a witness. I came with receipts, nigga. Hey, yo, right. <laughs> Receipts, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mark is hurt. He tried to save face for them boys he'd be with. Boy, you can, you can still be their friend. If yeah, I was I them, know. I'd check you. I'd be like, and why you friend. ain't take up for me when they was talking shit? I'm going to body slam both of you niggas after this show. Fuck out of here. You ain't body slam me with that yeah. shirt on. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> so Django looking at you. Anyway, fuck y'all. Anyway, we got love for motherfucking the. Um, uh, we fruit booty boys, but we just came. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga? I, I tell motherfuckers about the time at the funeral. I was at the funeral at the cemetery, and you know, the cemetery, sometimes to get to the plot, it'd be a long walk. But my fruit booty cousin was in the car, and they was gonna <laughs> put me next to him. I walked. You walked. <laughs> I walked through the cemetery. I walked over dead motherfuckers everywhere before I got in the car and was shoulder to shoulder. Ow. With my fruit booty cousin. And, Not because I hate him, it's just it was a bad look. Booty, I was yeah. like, hold on, I can't pull this off. I I'll meet y'all over there. Fruit booty cousin funeral, because they said they buried him on his stomach. They, 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 they said his nigga was in the casket. He was in the casket. <laughs> his face full be and his ass was there. Right. <laughs> they got those stretch pants in, in the casket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marcus, stop denouncing your people. Nah, nigga, they said flame your roll, dog, nigga. Fuck with him, y'all. Fuck with him. I'll link the video, Marcus. Oh, shit. Hell no. Damn. Now that's trolling, nigga. I know. They they Now they trolling. They even have an ISP one in there. It's phony as hell. Okay, so look, we about to wrap it up, man. And like I said, man, I had a lot of fun tonight. I I'm bet so, you did, man. I'm so glad you man. came through, Red. <laughs> See, they act like I be making this shit up, man. No, I'm so don't. glad you validated me, man. Hey, you used to hang with Flame on the regular. That was your road dog. I ain't never hung with Flame, but I got <laughs> love for Flame. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was your road dog. He was your road dog. Yeah, I got love like for like Flame. It. You yeah. hang with a gay man. Yeah, I'm huh? Flame. You open up for a gay man this weekend in Carolina. 
You don't know that man gay, man. I know. He's you didn't know he did. Gay. He said it. Y'all didn't he know said, that I was there. at a gay club three times a week. For six for, years. For six years. They did brother. the math on that shit. I can't, and listen, I, I can't listen, defend, do the I don't math. know, I can't so, do that. On oh, some I Fridays, I, he went twice. Some week, he spent the whole week there. That nigga been a million motherfucking times. Come on, y'all. I can't defend hey, that because I, I, I don't, clubs. that ain't, I don't move like that. I, that's just somebody. I was in a strip club two times that's, a week for three different. and a half years. <laughs> I mean that's different. <laughs> I, I can't defend that. That's that's different, and I'm you not. You can't defend being at the table with them sipping on champagne. Or, man, fuck you. I went. <laughs> we don't have to take our clothes <laughs> off. I go in that motherfucker. Have a good Ask time. anybody if, at that karaoke where I'll be doing. I'll be out there on the floor, on the floor. No, you don't know what I'm saying. That's what I do. I I'm go not and, saying. and even if somebody got a sex, I might go over there and give me. If, when, when I was drinking, I go over there and give me a little lift, and I go on and keep moving. Marcus, you be dancing and getting your arms wet at the club. Ain't nobody tripping on hey, that. Yo, your neck be wet. You should be looking like a slurpee. That means your goddamn arm. You see all that shit in here? Raise your arms, Marcus. Yo, got a pussy pit. I know them arms wet now because he mad. He mad as shit. He already threatened me. It's like me going, oh I'm like, God, it's like Michael Max going to fight Dr. Uh, King. He <laughs> Dr. King. Like, hey, I don't even want to do this, yo. Nigga, but I'm gonna 51 give it motherfucking 50, yeah, God man. damn it. We up out this bitch. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> we out. 51-50, nigga.